So ever since Konami screwed with your resources, we're getting back at them by making tons of YouTube videos that they end up monetizing if you uh, use the right footage, apparently, or the wrong footage. So this is how to keep your costs down in Metal Gear Solid V, the, the race to GMP. I, I don't know what I'm going to call it. I mean, you, you, you guys want this, right? Hey, do they really need to know how to keep their costs down? I mean, can't they just sell like a thousand precious metal? That's a million GMP. They don't have it yet. All right. I I guess I guess we'll do this. This is what you guys want. This is how the fuck no. This is top moments of the. This is get that GMP, bitch. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. So this is my Peace Dollar Resistance. It's a rifle with a silencer for 140 GMP. Um, you just take the regular rifle and you can actually equip the silencer onto it. And there you go. You have a lethal gun that is silenced. Uh, there's no sights to it, but it only costs you 140 GMP. And it gives you a, uh, you know, a primary weapon to have. Uh, the other thing is the prosthetic arm. Uh, that first one doesn't cost anything. Uh, the bionic arm, uh, it carries with the upgrades like mobility and medical and whatnot, but it doesn't cost you anything. Um, it's zero on the GMP. Um, so you might as well bring that with you. Um, sure, the other versions, like the rocket one, that takes some time. Uh, and the pistol, uh, just take a lower quality version. Do, uh, left on the D-pad, uh, or the right stick, I mean, the, the left stick. And there you go. Here's uniforms number one. Cost saving tips for what the f how why? Okay, so yeah, the olive drab, the splitter, th those beginning ones um, are the ones that you can buy, or whatever. Like tiger stripe, they they cost only a hundred GMP, right? But the thing is, what we really want is we want to be able to silence our footsteps. And there's like uh, there's a handful of uniforms that let you do that. So you want the the noise dampening uh, ability of something like the SV sneaking suit. Now this is my sneaking suit of uh, did I say snoot? I meant suit. Sneaking suit of choice. Uh, it's the one that comes with Ground Zeroes, I believe. If you update your game from that, uh, you, all you have to do is just play it, and you'll get the sneaking suit from that. If it's not already in the game, there's other ones like the uh, the cyborg suit. Uh, the old Solid Snake 32-bit uh, version of Snake. Uh, he has... Just just look for that description. Um, you know, there's the fatigues... Well, that's the fatigues from uh, Snake Eater, I believe, right? It's not a bad one either. Um, it, it's good in some areas. Uh, this is the... What is it? That's the default sneaking suit. Yeah, so that's... That's a thousand. Well, that might be... That might be the other one. So it's a thousand for the low version. Uh, the increased uh, stars, that just gives you uh, healing and whatnot. Oh, this is, this is the one from Peace Walker. That's right. Ah, uh, is this included or did, is this a DLC I bought? Uh, and then there's ones that you get as rewards from the FOB events, like the Zebra. Uh, that actually doesn't cost you anything. I'm not sure if it actually gives you... <laughs> any protection aside from guys saying, hey, look, there's a six-foot zebra walking around out there. Uh, and then this is this is obviously not going to be that stealthy. Um, they don't charge for it, so if you win some of those credits in the FOB events, you can use it. Um, but like I said, my standard one is the SV sneaking suit. It's only, what was it, like 300? It's a really, really low cost. And as long as you played Ground Zeroes, you'll have it. Next is the Buddies. As you can see, uh, Quiet costs a little bit down in the left corner. Uh, D-Horse is... Uh, she, he's over 2,000 as well. Uh, D-Dog is only 2,000, but uh, D-Walker is close to 40,000. That might actually be because of the stuff I have equipped on him as well. So he might vary, but he's a good 20,000. Uh, he'll cost you 20,000 to bring with you. Number two is items and tools. Are we still doing this? So, uh, this is items and tools. You know that Phantom Cigar? It, it costs you like 1200 over 1500 I can't see the screen, it's so freaking tiny. 
The stealth camo is going to cost you, uh, it costs you 7,000, but for the most part, it's like 200 precious metal. That's the big thing. Um, the Phantom Cigar is only good for advancing the time. Uh, you save, you know what, 1,200 each time you go into battle and you really don't need it. As with tools, the uh, the binoculars and whatnot and the scope, they don't cost you anything. The Fulton device does. Now, you can knock your wormhole Fulton down to the low one. If you're just picking up, like, six containers or maybe eight, you know, just to farm some supplies, you don't need 48 Fulton devices. So, you know, maybe you want to just knock it down to, what was the lowest number, 12? That should be good. That'll save you a couple thousand right there. Of course, if you have the wormhole device, that means you completed the main part of the game, so you should have some pretty good money, right? But whatever. This is kind of what you're looking at for a bare-bones character for farming stuff. And number three is the weapons. We're still going, apparently. No one's stopping us. Anybody in the booth? You want to stop? No, you don't want to stop? All right. So the weapons... Uh... The weapons are, have a base price, and they only allow access to certain stuff, but if you put an under-barrel attachment on, like what I'm doing here, a double-barrel shotgun or a micro-Uzi, that is going to boost your cost up by, you can see up there, by 6,000. Um, so putting a grenade launcher underneath, you know, that'll that'll do it. You know, when you pick a, a, a weapon that's like, let's say it's three-star, for the most part, all the scopes and all the attachments that are on it will not increase the value uh, whatsoever as you go up higher like if you go to a four-star weapon then suddenly you'll have uh, you'll have more additional slots to put items on like you know you'll be able to add a laser sight to it because it'll give you that extra uh, hard point on the weapon um, you can change the colors all you want they don't cost anything more uh, like I said it's when you go up to the next level of gun then it'll show you it's actually adding additional attachments. It's adding additional hard points on the weapon itself in order for you to, well, attach more gear to it. Uh, this is my standard uh, assault rifle with, with the, what do you call it, grenade launcher. Uh, this is my, that's my automatic shotgun. Now, this is a regular shotgun. You'll notice it's only like at, what, 20, is that 2900 or something? Uh, normally you can't get a silenced shotgun for that price, but you gotta go into the shotgun itself at a lower level, and then you can add the suppressor to it, and it doesn't cost you any more. Any other shotgun that you get is gonna take uh, a guaranteed four to 5,000 GMP uh, if the model comes with that suppressor. But you see, I got a suppressor. I even got... Uh, I even got the secondary suppressor to make it a, le a little bit better. Rockets are going to cost you uh, the more, the higher star version you take with you. So if you only need a couple of rockets, just do that. Um, and you can see here, I got I got a decent light machine gun. You know, it's you can see its value. Or no, I haven't popped that over yet. Uh, you know, let's let's get to the freaking value. This is this is a tier seven gun. Uh, and it costs me some precious metal just to take that out into the field. You can see the difference between the hard points and the amount of stuff that's attached to it. Well, it's better quality stuff, but it's 14,000, you know, for the version I have, you know, about nine or 9,500 for the other one. Sniper rifles are the same thing. You can take, uh, I like this one because I put on a little, uh, you know, submachine gun on the underneath. Other sniper rifles, you can just take the base rifle and then add the suppressor to it, and then that way it, the base, you know, value stays the same. So you can have a suppressed sniper rifle. Um, that thing is ridiculous. Uh, it's a double barrel shotgun with a laser sight and a, a massive scope and a flashlight. You don't need that. But yeah, you can add a suppressor to, uh, as long as you have the suppressors for higher versions of the same weapon, you know, you can put them on the lower tier versions and they sometimes don't cost you anything. Uh, so for a sniper rifle, for 1700 GMP or so, you can have yourself one of those. Um, this is a little unnecessary. I probably have like a minute or two of this footage I could have cut out, but I was out of segments. So I had to let it run all the way through. This I made clear what's firing my non-lethal bullets. I just made the color match the magazine and the barrel. 
Because that's what it does when you're using non-lethal. It has a blue box of ammunition and the barrel is blue to let you know that it's non-lethal. And as you can see, you know, carrying out, uh, it lets you fire, this lets you fire faster, but they're lethal bullets, of course. Or wait, was that make him sleepy? No, I can't remember. But yeah, the higher the higher uh, in grade that you go, the more expensive, you know, that pistol and whatnot's going to be. If you know you can get by with a lower grade, I'd say go for it, you know, like two or, or three stars. You don't need to max it out because with this, you know, that's also using um, some of the digitalis, the, the flowers and whatnot on the bottom. You'll see it right next to your usage requirements. You got the GMP and then you got, you know, some flowers, especially when you go silenced. And you also got stuff that uses, uh, you know, minor minerals and what like that. So later on in the game, you're going to have thousands of each type of flower, quite honestly. And some of the requirements ask for 6,000. So you're, you're probably going to be okay. But I guess some of you aren't, we're not all at the same level, right? You're just starting off. You're trying to cut costs. These are the things that can cut your costs. Take you know, buy the higher version of weapons and get those silencers and then knock it down a couple of stars and then add the silencer to it after the fact. That'll save you a lot. I showed you the rifle that was like 140 GMP. That's pretty good. I, I guess you guys need a video like this. I had a couple of requests and I thought, well, let me just put it out. If the video gets no views, uh, that's perfectly fine. I, I didn't expect many people to really look at it, but hey, for those that are having trouble, I hope I helped you out. I hope I didn't take too long and too much of your time, so get back out there and kill those aliens. What? They're not They're not killing aliens? I used the car ending. Why did I use the car ending on a military game? It makes no friggin' sense.